Hey guys, it's Alex here. Welcome back to Alex's Sports News. Hope you're having a day. Sorry about this week of uploads. I know it's been on the phone, not edited. Some one day I missed. It's just been really crazy out of this world. Just not been on task. Just went back to school this week. So if you can understand, I do apologize about this. However, we should be getting back to normal videos very soon. Again, I want to make this a point. I just want your help. I'm thinking about changing the title channel's name. If you guys have any unique sports names or terms used ever, please let me know. Anything will be taken for granted. I haven't found one I like the most yet, or I haven't found something that like stuck to me. You guys have recommended some good ones. I uh, think Necessary Roughness is something I liked. I might go with that. I don't know yet, but I want something else that you guys think or you guys like. Anything will help. Any term you've ever used, please let me know and we'll use that. And let's just start off this video. Starting off the cup news as Chelsea drew 0-0 versus Arsenal. Game sucked. No scoring. Morata and Lacazette are still struggling. However, this is a big issue with Arsenal. And this comes down to Jack Wilshere and what just happened with him and Arsenal's midfield. Jack Wilshere is having been fantastic a few weeks. He's been really big, key to Arsenal's midfield. However, he just got injured again with an ankle injury. He's out. They just sold Francis Coughlin to Valencia for $12 million. And they have a buyout cost of $80 million, so you're not getting him back. So you just lost two midfielders and one to be very weak midfield depth of Arsenal. You lost two midfielders, one of your best is injured. So what the hell are Arsenal going to do now? Now you have Aaron Ramsey, Granit Zaka, Mizzou Ozil top. Who else? I'm probably forgetting someone. I understand. But this is actually a serious issue going on with Arsenal because they need to make some signings. And after Wayne's been in some heavy shit like fuck, you saw it Arsenal fan TV. Everyone's going off on Arsenal, especially Winger. They need to make some moves now. So let me know what you guys think about that. What, Arsenal are in some deep shit. They need to find their way out. But this could be looking really bad for another bad season for Arsenal. And let's just move on to NBA news, starting off with the Warriors losing to the Clippers. Thanks to Low Williams giving up, giving 50 points against the Clippers. Or, fuck, the Warriors. I don't know what's wrong with my English today. You know what's funny about this? Coach Kerr, before the game, said Low Williams will drop 50 points against the Warriors. He fucking called it. And also, you know what? Steph Curry got injured because he fell before. Okay, Thompson got, it wasn't playing. But then we're going to talk about the other big character with KD. As he became the second youngest player in the NBA history to make it to the, or to get to 20,000 points. He is just only behind LeBron James and the youngest player. He's also under the age of 30 doing it, and this is a huge milestone. Congratulations, KD. Now, what do you guys think about this? Do you think KD has a chance of being Will Chamberlain's high score, or will he just not just be close but not there yet? Paul Pierce said he was one of the best shooters in the league history. I don't really agree with that. But let me know what you guys think. And that's the end for today's video. Hope you guys like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. If you got any channel names or spurts, streams you want to tell me, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for and peace.